Welcome to another first look. This time we have the QPad MK50. It is a pro gaming mechanical keyboard. Some of the features, of course, is the mechanical option, two year warranty, media keys, the N key revolver, and our glue up to 50 million keystrokes and of course a wrist rest which we all need this keyboard is compatible with well, Vista 2000 XP and 7 so I'm guessing Windows 8 and Windows 10 well, why not look at the side you can get to see that um, it's a full size keyboard obviously uh, cut into three sections main arrow keys number pad the W S A D keys are red so that's pretty cool I've always wondered why more keyboard game developers don't actually you know implement this or should I say game uh, whatever keyboard manufacturers look at the Cherry MX switch two option that like you see on most keyboards these days took up a little bit multifunctional media keys your choice of connection and of course the actual wrist itself nothing on the sides Ugh, the back now I gotta admit eh. it's a bit naff isn't it I was expecting a bit more but eh. Uh, yeah, that's basically it for the, uh, the first look at the box and we'll be right back now with the contents. Give me a second. Okay, back. Open it up, as you can see, this is the actual keyboard. I got it there. It's not too bad. Nice bit of flex in the keys. Nice sounding motion. Seems visible, laser etched keys as well, so you don't have to worry about them fading. Very nice indeed, I like it. And the media keys as well. I'll tell you one thing, this feels really, really nice. This is a palm rest, and it's got like a it's very strange texture, it's soft, soft to touch. That would be amazing to use for long periods of time, I tell you now. It's not cold or anything, like plastic is always cold. This feels different. Now, you did look at the box two minutes ago. You did see that the WS, WSD keys were all like red. Well, there they are. You basically got to put them on yourself. And of course you get the, uh, the key prior as well. And then of course you got the, uh, the USB adapter, which of course attaches to the end of that. So the question is, what else does this thing do? Has it got any lights in it? Let's have a look. Um, blah, blah, blah. No. It doesn't seem to have any lights in it. Well, we'll soon find out if it has lights in it. Because I'll be doing a review of it. And it'll be coming to envisioncommunity.co.uk very soon. So I hope you like the first look at the QPad MK50, currently recommended price of around, let's say about £100. So thank you very much for watching and see you again.